Hey everyone, a happy Easter, happy spring. I have a selection of stuff here that I am going to go ahead and build some Easter baskets for my kiddos. And I thought I would share with you some non-candy related Easter things that I am putting in my kids' Easter baskets this year. Paul just turned three and Tilly just turned one, so she's 13 months. I don't have all that much candy, I'm proud of myself. And we are going to do an Easter egg hunt. So let me build these and I'll show you everything I'm doing. And my mom, grandma, likes to get the kids Easter baskets every year. So I have a basket from last year and new baskets from this year, but I'm stealing her new baskets. I'm guessing she got these at Target. Look how cute these are. So this is the female one and this is the male one. How cute, look, he's got little rosy cheeks. Isn't that so sweet? So I'm gonna build out these baskets as I talk through what I'm doing, where I got it. Then I'll show you what they look like when they're done and then I'll show you kind of some other activities that we were doing. What my plan is to build out Paul's and then I have some stuff for Tilly and then I have some stuff for both kids. So if there's too much stuff in Paul's, I'll just put it in Tilly's. So the first I always get is a book. We have a couple Easter books. I did a short on it a while ago and these are two new ones I got. This is Eric Carlisle, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And this one is The Very Hungry Caterpillar's Easter Egg Hunt. And then this is Paul's favorite series, uh, Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. They have a whole bunch of them. And this is The Spring Delight, an Easter Flip and Flap Book. Flip the Flap Book. So I think that will fit in his. Yes, it does. So I'm trying to think of big things. Let's do some of Tilly's first. So this is one of my favorite toy companies is Love Every. Um, I'll see if I can link up the box that this came with. I'll try to put a picture here. And it came with, these are little baby carrots. So spring theme, push them in. It's actually from Paul's, already had it. So this is going to go into Tilly's. Something else I already had, I think it was from the same kit. It's this burrow and they're kind of hard to get out with big fingers, but they have these little bunnies and they go in the burrow. There's like three in there. So that's for Tilly. Her thing might get a little smushed. The other things that I already had, these are from Amazon. These are wooden maraca eggs, I guess you'd call them. So I'm gonna put those into Tilly's. Hers is already filling up. Something else I got Tilly that is not, it is not Easter themed whatsoever, is this brush and comb set. I already had one for Paul and I wanted to get one for Tilly. I think this makes a wonderful baby shower gift. I feel like people forget about this or they get the plastic ones, but it is, I think this is bamboo. No, it just says uh, soft wood. So there's a soft wooden comb and there is a wooden brush. I actually have the exact same set for Paul, but I needed one for Tilly now that her hair is kind of growing in. So I thought that was really sweet. So that is for Tilly. I also got Paul, I already, he already has hacked into one of the puzzles. Highlights has a lot of really cool things. He loves the Highlight magazine. He gets it from his grandparents and they have puzzles in there. He has a Highlights book I got him for Christmas. And this one is just a whole bunch of Easter related puzzles. And it even looks like a little Easter egg thing. I thought that was sweet. So I'm gonna put that in his too. This was in my Target haul. This is the Lint Tractor with a bunny. I believe this is a hollow chocolate bunny, it is. And then this is what I call the parent tax. Back here, there are Lindor truffles. I bought this last year and had no idea there was truffles in it. And I totally took the truffles out because he doesn't know what those are and doesn't appreciate the Lindor chocolate truffles. So that's for Paul. I got him this tube of Hershey Kisses. I don't know if you can see it. These are probably his favorite candy. I know that some th people think these Hershey Kisses are a choking hazard. And in hindsight, 2020, I probably would have never gotten him started with the Hershey Kisses, but rather the Hershey Miniatures because they can more take bites. But he has had these for so long that I, I co I'm confident in his biting ability of these. But I, I know somebody will think that these are a choking hazard and I totally get that. But I got him that tube of Hershey Kisses. I also got this at Target, this Oreo Easter egg. And I'm pretty sure there is just one Oreo in here. It's very light. Or maybe it's the mini Oreos. It says one pack. So anyway, Oreos are like his favorite cookie. So I thought that was really sweet. Got that for him. Okay, so let's talk about some weird stuff that I got for Paul. I get kind of restocks of things. And this kind of repeats what I did with his stocking. So I got him some of these. They are toddler toothbrushes. They have a suction cup at the bottom. There's two of them. And this one, if I can get it to do it, can you see? It's lighting up. It has a two minute timer, or I'm sorry, a one minute light up timer. And they both light up. They're called fire, there we go. You see them, red and blue? Firefly soft toothbrushes for three year old and up. It doesn't say who it's from, um, but I did find this at Target. 
So I got that for Paul because he can always use a new toothbrush. I also got him, I used this opportunity to get him some more band-aids. There's all sorts of fun band-aids out there. This one is the Pixar and it's got all sorts of different Pixar ones. We're in the stage where every time we have a little boo-boo we need a band-aid. So I got to restock up those. These are probably one of my favorites. I got this on Amazon. So this is by Buzz Patch. They have a whole bunch of different patches. This is a citronella patch. There's no chemicals. Um, and there's 60 colorful patches per pack, a Ziploc resealable bag, fits great in the diaper bag, lasts up to six months, protects the whole body, goes on clothes or skin, or I'm sorry, goes on clothes, not skin. They're natural plant-based repellent, citronella oil, cellulose, I guess is what it is, plants-based, DET free, DEET free. And I usually actually just put them on the back of his shirt and I put one on my shirt and my pants. And then I also put them on the stroller to keep the bugs away and they work really really well so this is for both kiddos I'm just gonna shove it in one of them these are looking a little full um, I saw this at Target I thought this is really cute so this is a peep bath bomb that I got for Paul trying to get him to entice him to go back into baths he's been very anti-bath lately speaking of bath I saw these we actually have the primary color ones I got them in this Christmas stocking a while back and these are neon they're color crayons and they wipe off really really easy just in case you were wondering I just use a wet cloth when they're done and they come right out. So this, this was in the dollar spot of Target and one of my girlfriends recommended. She said, I think Paul would really like these. They're called building blocks. There are a whole bunch of different little shapes. I don't know if this will pick this up. And they, um, she actually recommended this. She keeps this in her diaper bag for when they go to restaurants, which this seems a little nuts to me that there are all these little pieces, but I don't think I'm gonna give this to him. I'm just gonna hold off a little bit. These pieces, now that I'm, I was home, I had second thoughts, they make me nervous especially with my one-year-old. So I got him those, but I'm actually just going to hide those away for a little while. So I'm not going to put those in his thing. And the other, one other thing that I got was, this was on Amazon, a whole bunch of masking tape in different colors. There's red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and red. I'm sorry, I guess that's orange or pink. I'm not really sure. You could take them apart. I'm just going to shove them like this and we'll put it in Tilly's. And I have all sorts of fun activities for putting that on the floor or doing taping activities on paper, kind of a craft, kind of a deal. So I got that. And one thing that I got this year, so I do have, hold on, I do have this kit still. I bought this last year and my mom kind of guilted me into not doing it. I told my mom that I got one of these egg dyeing kits and she was like, are you insane? You're going to do that with a two year old? And I was like, maybe I won't. So we didn't dye eggs. So I still have it and I don't think it expires by any means. It's the one where you drop the colors in these cups and all that kind of doodad. So I think we might actually do that next year. But what I did get, I saw this all over Amazon and I went ahead and bought it as I got this, what's it called? Egg Amazing. So it's this plastic chunk and it basically spins the egg here and there are non-toxic markers in here and you can just color on the egg while it spins. I did see people do this with real eggs or recommend wooden eggs. So the eggs we get from the farm are brown. So I'd have to go get white eggs, which is not the end of the world, really. We had the whole egg crisis recently, but I went ahead and got some wooden eggs on Amazon. This is like $8, I think. And they're pretty heavy. They feel solid wood. They're already painted white. So we're gonna do this craft where you just come plunk it in here. You turn it on, I'm sure it takes batteries. So you put the egg in there, you spin it, and then you can put your marker on it and do all sorts of cool colors. I thought that was a really cool craft to do with Paul. So I went ahead and got that. And I have a pack of this in the basement that I need to unearth. I think it's in my holiday tubs. And I bought another one because Paul was so into this last year. I was actually surprised. This is 48 plastic eggs from Target and it was $3. And what I intend to fill these with is what I have you standing on. Uh, Paul got this Melissa and Doug puzzle and you build out different letters and it has all these little wooden letters and you can even I might even use the magnet letters from my fridge I think will fit too and each one of these for the most part fit in an egg so I'm going to put those in the eggs and I also did get some Hershey Kisses in like a bag I might just put like a few of them understanding that Paul's going to come inside open all these eggs and whatever candy he sees he's going to want to eat he's not going to want to like put in a jar and you know have those candies throughout the week he's going to want to eat whatever I put in them so I think I might just put like four of these eggs actually have Hershey Kisses and the rest are gonna have these little letters. And again, this is the Melissa and Doug letter puzzle. I'll put a picture right here. We have this in our basement. We haven't really delved into this puzzle. I'm sure we will soon, but these letters make the perfect little thing to put inside the Easter eggs outside.
and we already have some plastic Easter baskets that I got last year from my mom. So I think we're going to use those to collect the eggs. And I think that's everything I have for Easter. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and keeping me entertained while I build these Easter baskets. Now I can check that off my list as something that I've done. And I hope you inspired you a little bit to get maybe non-traditional candy things for your kids' Easter baskets. Things that were maybe a little weird but will work and as always thank you so much for watching if you like videos like this please give it me a thumbs up so i know think about subscribing if you haven't leave me some comments below i'd love to hear from you and happy happy easter happy spring and i'll see you in the next one bye